Gather round, my friends, as I paint a vivid tale of a dying world, beset by turmoil and birched on the edge of utter ruin. Its trembling existence serving as a haunting reminder that our actions hold the power to shape our destinies for better or for worse. This world, my friends, is the empire of the Pasha, a once mighty civilization that fought a battle for survival against a relentless enemy known as the Root. But let me take you back, back to a time long before the invaders ever set foot on Earth. The struggle of the Basha against the Root was a bitter one, a war that spanned millennia. Though the Basha emerged victorious, driving the Root from their land, their triumph came at a great cost. Their once great civilization lay shattered, a mere remnants of its former glory. It was a pyrrhic victory, my friends, for in defeating the Roots, the Basha had unknowingly sealed their own fate. In those dark days, the war united the warring nation-states of the Basha under the guidance of their spiritual leader, the Nui. This enigmatic figure, known as Ezlan, rallied the people against the implacable new enemy. They brought forth fearsome weapons, and hope blossomed within their hearts. Victory seemed within reach, but the root proved to be a foe unlike any other. Relentless, brutal, and legion, the root slowly wore down the Basha over centuries of warfare. They began to lose ground, and the Nui was faced with an agonizing decision. Faced with the imminent fall of their world, Eslan, the Nui, made a choice that would reverberate through the ages. To save his civilization, he ordered the activation of a doomsday device, a desperate measure to decimate the root once and for all. And so, the root was obliterated, but the cost was high. The devastation left the Basha shattered, their once proud civilization brought to its knees. In the past, the Basha society thrived as a technologically advanced race, but it was a society divided. Warring nation-states vied for power. Governed by a mysterious priesthood and guided by the Nui, the spiritual leader, the Basha believed that only the Nui possessed the ability to directly communicate with the world's guardian, the voice of their existence. Emissaries from each nation-state would seek the Nui's counsel paying homage to the Guardian, and under the newest guidance, an uneasy truce was forged, ushering in an age of peace and prosperity. But alas, this golden age was cruelly cut short by the Roots' invasion. Now my friends, let me bring you to the present, a time of great uncertainty and secrecy. The once proud Basha priesthood has crumbled, fragmented into small enclaves hidden from the ravages of this hostile world. Eslan, the Nui, has retreated to the safety of the Great Citadel, isolating himself from the harsh realities that surround him. But there are those who believe that he, the Nui, is to blame for the apocalypse that befell their world. They call themselves the Akari, a heretical group that broke away from the Basha priesthood and now works tirelessly in the shadows to overthrow Eslan and his followers. But there is more to this tale, my friends. The Akari have become the spiritual leaders of the mutated Buri tribesmen who dwell in the irradiated deserts of Rom. And the enigmatic Eslan, the Nui, would send forth his loyal and brutal constructs, the Vir, to hunt down these heretics and call the mutated Buri. Time has turned the tribesmen against Eslan and the Basha priesthood, and they now revere the Akari despising their former leader. In the shadows, my friends, a rebellion is brewing. The Ikari plot and scheme, dreaming of a world without Islam and the Basha priesthood. But they are not the only threat that looms over this dying world. The Root, yes. The Root waits patiently for an opportunity to launch a second invasion, to once again engulf the Basha and their shattered civilization. And in the midst of this turmoil, the Undying King emerges from the tapestry of this tale. A Basha from Rome, he is part 
of the Basha priesthood, embodying the role of the Nui, the prophets of the guardian and the spiritual leader of his people. It was he who forged the truce between the nation states, ushering in an age of peace and prosperity that was abruptly cut short by the Roots invasion. The Roots invasion was a brutal affair that lasted 50 long years. Rome, unable to defend itself, faced annihilation. And so, the undying king, burdened with the weight of his people's survival, sacrificed his own civilization. He ordered the activation of a doomsday device that decimated the Roots, but left Rome devastated. The threat of the Roots still lingers, my friends, a constant reminder of the perils that awaits. And now, dear listeners, a new chapter unfolds. The Undying King in a fateful encounter with the player offers a deal. The player, if willing, shall be granted the Labyrinth Key in exchange for a daunting task, to retrieve the heart of the Guardian of Courses. The Undying King, aware of the healing that Rome undergoes, knows that it will attract the Root once more. To prevent their invasion, the Guardian of Rome must be restored, and the heart of the Courses Guardian holds the key to their salvation. The Undying King is well versed in the events unfolding on Courses, warning the player of the dangers that awaits. He speaks of the corrupting influence of the Iskal and their sinister intentions towards the Guardian of Courses. Armed with this knowledge, the player embarks on a perilous journey, obtaining the heart and presenting it to Rome's dying guardian, a sacred pool that holds the secret to the Undying King's immortality. And now, my friends, let me reveal a truth that shatters the rumors and whispers. The Undying King's immortality does not stem from grinding bodies into powder. His source of eternal life actually lies within Rome's guardian, the very pool that grants him immortality. And so, the Undying King, the Nui, the prophet of the Guardian, stands as a beacon of hope amidst the chaos and uncertainty of this dying world. With his knowledge of the labyrinth portals and his faithful journey to protect Rome, he opens the way for the Root's destruction, guarding his people and their fragile existence. And as this tale unfolds, mystery still lingers, my friends. The status of the Undying King their purpose, veiled in shadows, leave us to ponder. Could it be that the Undying King, in limiting the population of Rome, is attempting to safeguard his people until the Guardian fully recovers, hidden from the watchful eyes of the Roots? And so, dear listeners, embrace the enigma, for within the depths of this story lies a dying world. A world in upheaval, and the fate of the Basha civilization hangs in the balance. The Undying King, his secrets, his sacrifices, and the looming threats of the Roots, all intertwined in a captivating and mysterious tapestry that unfolds before our very eyes.